Hi, this is Exploring with Em and Stu. I'm Em. And I'm Stu. And today we are still on the Isle of Grain and we're going to be exploring the dummy battery here. Originally completed in 1865 to support the two existing forts just to the north, Grain Battery, as it was originally called, was built to help protect the Medway River in Kent from invasion by the French and was armed with 9-inch rifle muzzle-loading guns. In 1905 it was upgraded and renamed to Grain Dummy Battery and two 4.7-inch breech-loading guns were installed for use against torpedo boats and a separate range riding observation post was added along with a magazine and troop shelter. By the First World War, the battery was obsolete for river defence, but was rearmed with two 3-inch anti-aircraft guns. It went out of use after the First World War. In the 1950s, the abandoned battery structure was severely damaged by demolition and excavation work around it creating an almost moat-like feature where the ground had been removed for materials. Unfortunately, this resulted in the loss of many of its structures, including the original magazine. So we're here right on top of the battery now, um, on the gun emplacement. And as you can see down here, uh, this is where a heavy loading uh, rifle muzzle loader would have been, uh, with 14 bolts, was quite standard for them and uh, would have basically been bolted. Uh, often you'd see chains, there's no remnants of them now, but it was then replaced uh, and upgraded over the years by a few other guns, as I would have already said. And um, just in the distance here, was the reason why this was built was to supplement a uh, grain tower, as you can see out in the Medway over there. So we're here on another gun emplacement. This one's actually in slightly better condition. Again, would have had the, um, the muzzle loading gun on it. Um, but in 1895, this was actually uh, upgraded to the six inch rifle breech loading rifles. Um, and the whole fort was built to, uh, to supplement the, uh, the grain tower in the Midway, as you can see. Okay, so in about 1905, uh, this battery was substantially altered and they built this fire control tower, which was basically used to give direction uh, to the actual gun battery as to where they should fire out to. So we are now underneath the gun emplacements and down here would have been the magazine and they were used to store basically the cartridges and the shells for the guns. I imagine there would have been some sort of hoist or something along here, but uh, this place has been substantially demolished over time. And, uh, and we can't see any remnants of it, unfortunately. But these two rooms, we believe, would have been magazines. Okay, so as we walk in here, um, me and Emma, for a very, very brief second, thought that this might have been a, a hoist, but then we found out it's a trailer. Yeah, how on earth they've got a trailer in here, we don't know, or why they've it's got it. It's how they got it in here. Yeah. Why it's in here is a, it's not really unusual, but how? No, that's very strange. <laughs> it would have been it. really good if we'd have found the hoist, but we can't actually find any hatchways in the ceiling. No. Um, for a hoist. But again, like I said, a lot of this was demolished. And when they made the alterations, a lot of it was, was changed about. But it was also used uh, as an anti-aircraft sort of defence in World War One, we believe. So um, again, they probably demolished a lot of bits yeah. and pieces. This is completely and utterly, as we're walking around, you can so see, totally, this was obsolete compared to Grain Tower yeah. and all that lot. You, you can yeah. see that this is I, just... I don't think they, these, along with the wing battery just to the north, were used for very long at all. No, not at all. Um, but still, they're worth having a little look, aren't they? So we'll have a little wander around and I think we'll finish up this little video, this little information video. So, yeah. okay, see you in a minute.
Okay, so um, this is the, um, the double battery barrel. here at Grain. Um, not as much here as what we were hoping, to be honest with you, but no. we did know that it was substantially demolished and altered over time. Shame, really. Um, it is what it is, but it's still worth having a little look Absolutely. because it does add to the history of the area, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Um, and uh, obviously, as you probably know, this is our kid project. Yes. So we're trying to get round what we can. So as from exploring with Edward Stew, until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.